yes, I am wearing the exact same sweater that I wore in last week's video because time management. Welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. For those who don't know me, my name is Kristen Martin. I'm an Amazon best-selling author, a writing coach, a podcaster, and a YouTuber. In today's video, I will be recapping my March and April goals for 2018 and sharing my new goals for May and June. And just a little disclaimer, I failed. This is my first fail ever with my bi-monthly goals and I'm weirdly okay with that. So I already went through my goals list and just kind of, you know, put the little check marks next to the ones that I had done and then, you know, looked at the ones I didn't do and went, well, there's always the next couple of months. Since there has been so much going on between the author tube retreat and my birthday and be here on hashtag goals releasing and now this book tour that is coming up very, very soon, there's just a lot, it's been a really busy couple of months and I have found myself feeling very stressed out, overwhelmed, lots of overwhelm. Overwhelm and anxiety are the two major things I have been feeling. And when I looked at my goals and realized that I had failed over these past two months, I realized that I need to take a step back, take a little bit off my plate, breathe and just relax a little bit. So May and June is looking very, very minimal for goals and I'm fine with that. With that being said, let's talk about how poorly I did. <laughs> okay. March and April 2018 goals. Goal number one, reveal the title, cover, and date for be your own hashtag goals. Obviously I did this. Goal number two, announce book tour details, venues, and times. I did this as well, check mark. Goal number three, complete 50% of the beta reader phase for Renegade Crew, which is Shadow Crown book two. This I also did. Goal number four, meditate and journal on a daily basis. I gave myself a check mark for that, but I'm unchecking it right now because because I didn't do that. I tried, I journaled a lot and I meditated not as much as I would have liked, but it was not daily. So can't give myself a check mark. Goal number five, spend one hour per day creating. This I can give myself a check mark for because I made it a point to spend at least one hour every single day, normally in the evenings between seven and nine. I would start at seven or eight, sometimes at nine o'clock. <laughs> and just create, whether that was writing or editing a YouTube video or creating some kind of free content or webinar or something like that. So that I did do. Goal number six was to post one new podcast episode per week. I was really on a roll with this until April hit and the author to retreat happened and I lost my voice for an entire week and it didn't come back. And you can tell it's still my voice. I feel like it's just in this perma kind of manly state. I don't really know if it's ever going to come back to its natural state, but I talk a lot and I'll be talking a lot on this book tour. So I'm prepared to lose my voice all over again. Goal number seven, flesh out details, the sign up process for Valiance one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, this did not happen either because I'm actually going to have to push my one-on-one -on -one coaching back further because again, there's just a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that I haven't really been talking about too much. So I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to push that one back. Goal number eight, read one fiction and one nonfiction book a month. I was so busy getting the year on hashtag goals ready to go and getting the house ready for the author tube retreat and making sure everything was set that I, I don't, did I read? Did I read these past two months? I did read You Do You by Sarah Knight, but I did not read any fiction. Womp womp. Goal number nine was to spend at least 30 minutes reading before bed. I didn't do this because I've been so exhausted every single day that I would just lay down, watch the Mindy Project and pass out. So if I had read for 30 minutes, then I probably would have met my goal of reading one fiction and one nonfiction book a month. So yep, that's another fail. Goal number 10 was to incorporate an exercise class, spin or yoga once a week into my fitness routine. This did not happen either. I did go for runs outside and I did my workouts upstairs and in the living room, but did I attend a new class, like a fun new class? No, no, I didn't do that either. Goal number 11, prep for author to retreat 2018. Something I can give myself a check mark for. <laughs> and it was super successful and super fun. So totally worth it. And then goal number 12 was to schedule one night a week as a beauty or spa night. I can give myself a check mark for this one because I've actually been taking a lot of self care days, a lot more beauty and just, you know, really taking care of myself like spa type days. I've needed to cause I've been really overwhelmed. So if you were counting, I achieved six out of 12 goals, which puts me right at 50% 
which for me, I consider that failing. I like to complete at least 75% or more of my goals. So this is, this is my first failure. And like I said, I'm totally fine with it. You know, just going with the flow. <laughs> so let's talk about my very minimal goals. I have only six of them and then a bonus one if I get bored for May and June. Okay, goal number one, release beer on hashtag goals and paperback and ebook. Technically, I can already, I'm already ahead of the game. I can give myself a check mark for that one because it released on May 1st, 2018. Here it is right here and it is available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, The Book Depository, and Books A Million. So make sure you go get a copy. Goal number two, and this one is so important for me, which is to be in the moment on my domestic book tour. So I'm about to leave for my book tour and I've realized that instead of feeling overwhelmed and constantly thinking about the next thing and the next destination, the next place I have to go, I really wanna focus on being in the moment. And I am going to be vlogging it so I'll have my camera, so don't worry, there'll be all that footage of my book tour. I'm really excited to put that together. I think it's gonna be fun. But I really want to be present and be in the moment because this is a dream I have had since I was a little girl going on a book tour with my books and meeting people and signing copies of my books. So I really just want to soak it in for all that it's worth and to truly be 100% present and not thinking about anything else. So that's why I have so little goals in May and June because two weeks out of these two months, I'm going to be gone and traveling. And I really just want to be present and enjoy it to the fullest. Goal number three is to meditate and journal on a daily basis. I kept this one on here because I found that when I meditate and journal, it starts my day off really well. I'm more relaxed, I'm organized, I have clarity with things. So I wanna keep this goal on here because it really has helped me and I just wanna get back into doing this on a daily basis. Goal number four is to spend three hours per day creating. So I have bumped this up from one hour to three hours, which is also why I have less goals over May and June. I've been so overwhelmed with the business side of things that I haven't really been enjoying myself or taking the time to truly create as much as I want to create. And that's my true passion is to create something from nothing, to to create something that didn't exist before. Again, that's why I'm kind of taking a step back, especially from the business side of things. And I just want to spend more time creating. So three hours per day, let's see if I can do it. Goal number five is to read one fiction and one nonfiction book a month. And I'm keeping this goal on here because as you guys just learned, I didn't read hardly, I read one book over the past two months and reading is something that's really important for me and it's also a way for me to kind of escape and I don't know, just escape reality and get out of my own head for a little bit. So I really wanna make sure I make more time for reading. Goal number six is self-care Sundays every week. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with this. Like I said, I've had almost too many self-care days. I don't know if you can ever have too many, but I wanna make sure that I continue my self-care Sundays ritual every single week. Then goal number seven, I literally wrote on here, if I get bored, <laughs> schedule the studio for my audiobook recording. So we're breaking the news right here. I know Be Your Own Hashtag Goals just came out in paperback and ebook on May 1st but I have decided that I want to be the narrator and produce an audiobook for Be Your Own Hashtag Goals. And this is really because I feel like with my podcast, this is almost like an extension of my podcast, which is That Smart Hustle, in case you don't know, available on iTunes and SoundCloud. It's an extension of my podcast. So I feel like me reading through the chapters and creating an audiobook for this, it'll have that same feel as my podcast. I know a lot of people really enjoy the content that I'm putting that I'm putting out there on my podcast. So I figured I would do the same sort of thing. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my fiction books. I really don't wanna narrate those myself. So there's a lot more cash money involved in getting someone else to do all of that and getting audiobooks for those. So I'm still thinking about that. It's like a side thought, but I am, again, if I get bored, especially in the month of June, then I probably will start looking at studios and who knows, possibly even book a session and go in there for eight hours and just just record, just read my whole entire book out loud. We shall see. So that is it, that is all that I have for you guys today for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it gave you some kind of encouragement or reassurance that even those of us who really seem to have things together don't always have it together. And sometimes we fail and that's totally okay. You just gotta take some time to press the reset button and 
move forward. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to support my channel. You can also support me via my Jubilate link, which is listed in the description box below. Don't forget to check out my website at kristenmartinbooks.com to get all of the details for my book tour for the US and Canada. Again, that's happening in just a couple of weeks, so make sure you get your tickets. There are a limited number of tickets because there's limited capacity in all of the venues. So again, go check out my website and make sure you get your tickets because I want to meet you and sign your books and take photos and just embrace this lovely community. All of my Amazon best-selling books, The Alpha Drive, The Order of Omega, Restitution, Shadow Crown, and now Be Your Own Hashtag Goals are available for purchase on Amazon and Barnes & Noble as well as the Book Depository and Books A Million. You can also get autographed copies of all of my books. For more information on how to get your hands on signed copies, make sure to go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and click on the Buy Books tab on the menu bar. You can also click on the links in the description box below. If you are a fan of audiobooks, make sure to check out my affiliate link with Audible in the description box below. You can get a free audiobook download and a free 30-day trial for their service. I do have a free guide up on my website at kristenmartinbooks.com called How to Write Your Book in Three Months, and that guide is a great precursor to the types of things we go over in my self-study coaching program for writers called Valiance. Registration is still open, so make sure to check out the links in the description box below to get more information. And up on my other website at thatsmarthustle.com is yet another freebie called five action steps you can take right now to start showing up for your dreams. If you benefit from that guide, then you will absolutely love my mini webinar series called Hustle Smarter, Not Harder. To learn more, read testimonials, and sign up, go to thatsmarthustle.com and click on the webinars tab on the menu bar. If you can't get enough of the girl boss vibes, also make sure to check out my podcast. It's called That Smart Hustle, available on iTunes and SoundCloud. You can find the links in the description box below. If you want to keep up with me and see what I've got going on during my days, make sure to follow me on social media like Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. If you have any questions or think of a topic for one of my next videos, please leave it in the comments down below. Again, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. I post new writing advice videos on Mondays and personal day in the life vlogs on Thursdays. I will see you guys next time. Bye.